Hello and welcome to the GCC Minute Series where I talk you through how to get every single GCC grade in every single minute. Today we're on grade 6 in 6 minutes. Make sure you're subscribed for all future videos and make sure you've watched the past videos too. Now a grade 6 then is a very solid GCC grade. For this you need around 60% in the exam, so comfortably over half marks, not into the kind of 70s, 80s, 90s where you'd expect to see the grades 7s, 8s and 9s, but you do need to know and get a majority of the marks, a strong majority of the marks. So the first thing I want to talk about then is the mindset for grade 6. Now you will need to revise, you want to conserve your energy, so focus on the topics that come up the most and you don't want to overcomplicate things, okay? We're not aiming for perfection for a grade six. You're just aiming to know as much as you can. But it's really important to remember that you don't need to target every single tiny little topic, ones that you find really difficult. As I said, it's better to conserve your energy, especially if you're aiming for sixes across the board. Now in class, you do want to focus, okay? You want to focus and ask questions in class. Last week for the grade five, I talked about how you need to focus. But if you want a grade six, you do want to ask the odd question or at least listen very carefully make notes, try and work hard in class generally, and this includes doing your homework as well. I would also be attending revision sessions that the schools hold. If you're aiming for a grade nine and the super high grades, chances are your revision should be kind of so efficient that the revision sessions sessions in class aren't really that beneficial for you. But aiming for six, I would attend as many revision sessions as I could. Now for maths, you need to focus on the hard areas and the areas that come up the most. So you want to revise the topics that come up the most. You want to get to know the formula sheet as well. Okay, so the sheet that you're going to get in the exam, that's really, really important to do. And you want to be doing a little bit of daily maths as well. For English language then, my main advice for English language is to focus your efforts on the 40 mark questions. Okay, this is about 50% of your GCC English language grade. So you can get a six if you really target these questions and then do pretty well in the other questions, including those easy little one mark questions in English language. Now, I have done and will do videos on this because I have a lot of advice for the 40 mark questions. I would really recommend buying the questions on my website. So you can see an example of a 40 mark story and a 40 mark article and see what I do. Within those documents, I also contain lots of advice about how to get the top marks in those questions. Each one is only £2.99. I'd really recommend getting that. But if not, if you don't have the money or anything, don't worry. I will be doing lots of videos explaining in as much detail as I can. I don't want price to, I don't want to price out any students because I understand that everyone is a student. So I'd focus on those 40 mark questions for English language. You don't want to practice loads, but you want to practice a little bit. At least have know that you should be getting 30 and above in those questions. And that should get you almost all the way there for a six in English language. Next point then is science. Now for science, you really, really want to revise the practicals. You want to know the practicals inside and out. That will already get you a lot of marks in the exams. You want to pick up, especially in physics, for example, know the equation sheet in physics as well, inside and out. Make sure you can work with that. Honestly, in physics, if you could do the equations well and you know the practicals, you're really close to grade six in that. For the other subjects, you do want to know them. You do want to revise them a little bit. But once again, you don't want to go into too much detail. So revise the topics that come up consistently. Look through some past papers. Make sure you're fairly familiar with that. Now, as a revision strategy, you want to be doing around one topic per day. Now, what I would be doing, so one subject per day and in within that subject, one topic per day. So you do want to revise. This is a slight change from the grade fives, fours, where you were doing a little bit of revision, but you're trying to be distracting and stuff. I would aim as a rough guide to be doing one subject per day. You can write this in before the week. So sometimes people like to print out the kind of weekly view. You may have a whiteboard where you can do that. I always recommend a planner, anything. Just add some structure to your vision once a week. You want to be balancing as well the subjects and the kind of level that you're doing. Six is abroad across the subjects is actually quite difficult to do because you need quite a good base knowledge in every single subject. So if you're aiming for that, you need to be on top of the grades and you need to know which subjects you're less likely to get a six in, which subjects you're more likely to get a six in. If you're quite good, have a good base knowledge in many subjects, you should be close to a six in those. Personally, six is kind of the first grade where it's very hard to just naturally get in the exam without any revision. I understand some people are very, very like naturally talented at maths or English or whatever, but I think six is where we get to the point now where you do have to revise. And to do that, you have to be on top of which subjects you're better at naturally, which subjects you're not. It comes back to that focusing your energy. So in conclusion then, 
the grade six is a step up from a five. You do need to get the majority of the marks. What you need to do now is start thinking about organizing your vision. I've given some tips in this video about how to organize your vision and how I'd approach that. Plan it weekly, do one subject a week, one subject a day, sorry. Go to extra revision sessions, put some extra effort in, focus on the core subjects. I've given some advice for those. For the other non-core subjects, you do wanna be listening in class. You wanna be making some resources. You don't wanna go overboard. So for English, because you don't wanna get a seven, this is for a six. English, you don't wanna be writing the other questions. I'd just focus on the 40 markers. For English and maths, you don't really want to be looking at the grade nine questions. Just ignore them. Kind of assume that you won't get them. We are only aiming for six. I hope that video was really helpful. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. I've really enjoyed doing this series, showing you what I believe every single grade requires. We're now into a grade seven where we reach the top GCC grades next week. So 100% watch out for next Friday when I'll be releasing that video. Have notifications on. Please leave a like. And yeah, just let me know if you want any videos or have any video requests. 